YouTube, we are back uh, with a little bit of delayed commentary, so sorry for the wait, but we do have a few that'll be coming along very shortly here. Uh, we have round one of our locals at Sully's Abode last Thursday, November 2nd. Uh, this is round one. We'll have links to rounds two and three of the um, of this locals um, in the video description down below. Round one is going to be Jarrell playing Red Hybrid on the left and myself playing Melga on the right. Uh, full disclosure, this is the first time I'm playing Melga in a really long time. I really <laughs> missed the deck, so I was super excited to play it with a lot of the new starter deck support. So hopefully this gives you guys an idea of sort of what like a blue purple Melga can do, at least like in this current format before it gets its like full run of support in EX5. Uh, mm -hmm. But it was really fun to play. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hell yeah. Alrighty, so let's hop right into it. Oh. But yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm excited to see this because I, so uh, I have been uh, sort of MIA from locals recently because I've been playing a lot of ARC uh, <laughs> and I've also haven't been, haven't been feeling well. Same. Um, I think this was my first locals in like three weeks. So yeah, you it was were, good you to be busy. back. Uh, um, Jarrell started to run with the Takuya, which is good for him. I'm trying to build a line by going into Gabu, Gabu X. I play out a Searcher Gabu to pick up, I'm assuming a level four at that point. Yeah. And just go into him. Yep. Pass him over to three. Pretty good. Jarell's gonna go into a rookie in the back there. It's a normal play, mon play. Uh, he's gonna Burning Gray. Nope, he opts against it. He's just sort of waiting. He does have the other Burning Gray in hand. I think he's debating on just controlling your board. Which he is yeah. not going to go for, so he's going to just go for the big one just to try and guarantee the extra. He memory still does that. Oh, then he does that. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's for one. Yeah. Clever. Good thinker. Good thinker. Mm -hmm. And gives him that extra DP boost, gains the yep. memory. Yep. Jarrell is. He. 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 He was really cooking that night. He. He has really started, like. Like, he's been doing pretty well all format, but he, like, these past few weeks, he has been cooking hard, dude. He's. <laughs> It is, it is terrifying to play against him right now. He is on a hot streak, and it is scary. Um, I just took you to one. Yeah, here is where I'm like, okay, like, he has the potential due to a whole lot of damage. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna... We're going to try to control a little bit here. So I go ahead and swing um, into his Burning Gray and go into a Metal Guru X. Or not Metal, sorry, Were Guru X antibody. Yeah. Um, off the swing because I was missing the level five and I was like, you know what? It, the longer I wait, the more I'm just gonna get behind. So I just opt to swing into his peas, bounce his Nemon, and then just pass him over. Which I think is an okay play. I, I, I lose good. the battle c protection because I don't have the Guru X, but I think with right. Red Hybrid too, I'm like, honestly, I'm only afraid of the top end. If he's gonna delete me by effect, I'm gonna die anyway. So I figured I might yeah. as well just go for the board control. And like, and right now it's admittedly like, Red Hybrid has so many tools to cook right now. It's hard. Yeah. Like, you, and you you can't leave them with bodies on board because they're gonna they can get so much aggression so quickly. Yeah. yeah. Um, Drill going up his line pretty much. <laughs> so uh, this is where <laughs> I go into Me Metal Guru Ace, okay, and I'm like, ooh, I made a good play. Look at me. I'm a discard. Yeah, so pitch three cards. Two. I don't know why I choose to discard two, and then he decides to fire trick. Yeah, and then he gets him to memory back, so he keeps turn. Oh. I, I think I pitched two mainly because I was like, you know what, I I need I needed the pieces in my hand to keep building, and I'm mm. like, oh yeah, like I I'll just be fine. I'll like go to two memory, and I was like, wait, a, I forgot about the Takuya giving him two memory back. Otherwise, you know, I think he would have been kind of stuck passing turn, and here's why I'm just in trouble because. I don't have a rookie. I, I opt to just have to play out the guru, and here is where Jarrell can just cook. He checks you know, into you do a have, Davis. Hmm. You got Boba. I do got Boba. Thank you, no, Rio. W. Swings, and then he's hyper for game. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah. That's about that's uh, how that goes. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah, I think if you if you pitch all three, I think you actually had a pretty good chance of doing something for a comeback there. Yeah. Um. Because you would have definitely been able to clear board. Uh, probably could have started doing some aggression. Gotten Because I think you had a, Mel uh, a Melga X. In I had a well. Melga X and I had yeah, an Omni so you... X as well. Oh, yeah. You had yeah, so many options yeah, you could start I... messing around with. 
I probably wouldn't have been able to go for game, but I definitely would have been able to at least clear board and like he wouldn't, he could fire Drake me still probably, but even then, if I'm able to get into Omni well, X, to, there's no way for him to climb that high for him to fire Drake me. He'd have to, um, I mean, he can still climb ahead to pop you with his Emperor Grey, with just how much DP sure. boost that Red Hyper yeah. gets, but that being said, yeah, that takes a lot more prep for him to do, and you can probably take the game, you can maybe almost take the game by that point. Um, mm -hmm. You definitely would have slowed him down significantly. Yeah. Uh, cause I don't think he had another of the BT7 Alda on in hand. I think he only had a, uh, a BT12 Alda, which is rough, to, <laughs> yeah. to say the least. Um, uh, so I opt to go first. Um, I'm yeah. able to go into a Guru, which is, like, not bad. It's a decent start. Darrell starts the turn the same way he did last game, which is just playing out of Takuya. I'm able to climb and pass him over to three, going into the yeah, new cooking. starter deck where Guru. Were you able to get a... Yeah, you did get a... Uh, uh, a Guru, Guru X this time. Yeah, yeah. So pretty decent start for me. Um, Jarell goes straight into an Aldemon. Checks. The security. It's a cool boy, which I'm like, ooh. I'm like, oh. oh. Well, you did hit some good stuff, though. Did a Melga X, which is pretty decent. Yeah. And then he gives me three going into Emperor, which is smart because that way I'm not able to just swing over his guy. I have to build a little bit. Admittedly, though, you it's not... I don't know if it's actually that smart because you can very easily bounce that. With true, Melga. true, 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 true. So you can draw... Try, not that it's, it's not a bad idea either. It does put you in a position where you can't just swing over it. You do have to, like, essentially yeah. just answer it with a bounce. So um, I'm able to swing, restand by pitching one... Um, swing game twice and then one. go into Werguru oh. X, suspend cool by gain of memory, restand and draw. But here's where I'm like, hmm, what to do? Um, because I think I'm, yeah. If I go into Metal Guru Ace, pitch. So. If I pitch three to make it a free Evo, which. I love. Oh no! Don't this. don't tell me you do this. No. Yeah. Man. You should have swung with the. Oh no. Yeah, because now I'm giving it straight back to. Me. Which is. Oh um, well, you didn't delete it though. Oh, I guess. Oh, you opted not to pitch a card to delete it. Okay, never mind. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Um, but I think with red hybrid reflecting on it i'm like you know what i don't want to be giving it back to him i'm honestly probably wanting to just swing over him and just delete it and just you know the problem is if you delete it he plays out a bunch of takuyas that's true that's true which is the scary thing about red hybrids like you pick your poison you know you either try to delete their stuff and go for board control like, yet they still recur everything anyways yeah and, and if you let them you live they too. just destroy you and then he decides how to did fire he drake. fire drake you there uh, Burning Gray gets um, additional with Takuya, and then I think he's he has additional 10. with the Burning Gray underneath. Well, he, I think he's 12. Mm -mm. I... You have the... No, you should have been 13 because you have the Sunomon egg. It gives plus 1k. Is that an alternate? Oh shit, that is alternate. Oh. And he gets plus 2k when Digivolving, plus 2k from Takuya, plus 2k from Burning Gray and Herald. So he gets plus 6, so he's 12. He's 12. I should have been 13. Yeah, you shouldn't have died. That's a miscatch on my part. Oh my goodness, Jarrell out here cheating, the judge is rigging it. <laughs> <laughs> he did end up winning this week, FYI. <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, that's. Yep. I think that's also just me not playing Melga for God knows how long. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, you I'm missing been. a lot of effects here. I was just super excited to play it again. I was just like, I miss playing the dog. I miss <laughs> playing blue in general. Well, actually, well, the Sunomon's as long as you have... Well, no, you just have to have a Guru on a name. You don't have to have eight cards in hand or anything like that. That's the Gabu. That we're picking up. So yeah, no, you, you were definitely 13. You should have lived. You were fine. Um, but Jarell's here to send up. He plays a Nemon to play out a Tamer, then plays a Boko to Surge, hits two pieces, and Aldemon and a Tukui off of that. So I'm sitting at a pretty scary situation. Granted, Melga can also probably do a little bit here too, if I have the right pieces. Yeah. And Drill's just opting to say, you know what, you know, let's see what we can do. Let's go for it while we can and just say, look, if you have it, you have it. But 
if I don't have it, I'm pretty much looking at a situation where I can't really do anything. Which, I mean, that's fair play, you know. Mm -hmm. So he's just trying to decide what he wants to do. He was like, I need to choke you. Go into a and I'm and just like, gray. this is what we can do. We'll just go with Goonie. I'm like, oh, yeah. damn Makes it, sense. man. Do you have a Guru X? <laughs> I don't. And that was, uh, that, that's the, that was the yeah, painful part. Because the, the only way I could clear X. board would be to... I, there, I don't think there is a way for me to clear board, actually. No, now um, if, you, you need Guru X right now. Because you could go into yeah. that game memory, go where Guru. You could, you could clear board if you had... A guru X right now. Yeah. But because you don't have that, that's yeah. Not in your wheelhouse. I choose to just swing over as a Goonie to go into the Blair X, yeah. And just bounce one. And I'm just when you bounce the Boko, yeah. Yeah. And then I drew into a Guru X. <laughs> Which is painful, but it is what it is. I mean, that that's sort yeah. of what you ex come to expect sometimes with these X antibody decks. Yeah, and that's just kind of how it goes. And I say, you know what? We're going to ace and do the full three discard this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, good game, though. That's yeah. still a good game. Yeah, I think um, definitely a very smooth red hybrid match from Jarelza. Yeah. Um, unfortunate that you didn't catch the DP. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I think you probably. I think I probably I had a position where game. I could have gotten it. Um, yeah, I think you could have won potentially with that in mind because you could have kept controlling board by deleting level four or lower with the Wegaru Inheritable. Right, right, right. right. Um, and uh, do another do another good stuff. So it's but that's how it goes. Just how it happens sometimes. Yeah, I mean I think Melga is still a very very solid deck even without the EX5 stuff right now. I mean the starter deck gave it a lot of support and honestly it just needed another Wargaru to go into. Um, mm -hmm. And the starter deck Wargaru is pretty pretty darn good honestly for what the deck wants it, to do. It is your best replacement for the promo when you're yeah. not seeing the promo. Yeah. Um, and what was I gonna say? With Bukamon coming out in BT14, I mean, jamming. <laughs> Listen, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I will say too, like I think just by playing the deck too, um, I've come to see, like sort of my own play styles and learn a little bit more about myself playing the deck, um, just because. I feel like there are times where I wait too long or like I wait for my piece and sometimes that like pushes me back too far. You know what I mean? Like I'm waiting for that perfect stack and the perfect line and I end up just making suboptimal plays because I'm now I'm on the back foot, you know? So I think sort yeah. of like a double edged sword that you do with these like big stack X antibody decks is that sometimes you want to build a line and you want to see yeah. that like, oh, I want everything in the stack. But it's like sometimes you just have to go for it. Yeah. There's a lot of other removal options in the game now, and Melga always had that issue where it doesn't have option protection or effect protection, and there's so much stuff that's an effect to delete, not battle. So Melga's, you know, victory is pretty much just trying to OTK, and it's a harder thing to do with it at the moment until we get some of the EX5 stuff, so. Yeah. But it's still a very good deck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. So yeah, that was round one. Uh, we will catch you over on round two. Bye-bye. Peace.